सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यूरो मस्कुलर जंक्शन ऑफ द स्मूथ मसल्स इन द स्केलेटल मसल्स वी डिस्कस दैट द न्यूरो मस्कुलर जंक्शन ऑफ द स्केलेटल मसल्स इज फॉर्म बाय द पेनिट्रेशन ऑफ द मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ मसल फाइबर डीप इनसाइड एंड इट फॉर्म्स अ क्लेफ्ट नोन एज द सिनेप्टिक क्लेफ्ट इन व्हिच द ट्रांसमीटर्स आर सिक्रीटेड and these transmitters uh, go deep inside the muscle fiber uh, and then the muscle fiber is activated and excitation goes inside with the help of t tubule or transverse tubule but in case of smooth muscles the neuromuscular junction are not that much complicated but they are very much a uh, simple and they are basically of two types the neuromuscular junction of smooth muscles are basically of two types as we previously discussed that we have two types of smooth muscles one is multi unit in which the muscles act the muscle fibers act independently and then we had unitary fibers in which the fibers they act together in the multi unit forms uh, the muscles were innervated separately the muscle fibers of the smooth muscles were se innervated separately but in the case of the unitary form of smooth muscles all the muscle fibers were combined and they had one uh, one excitation uh, neuron or only one fiber was activating the whole bunch of the muscle fibers so how this muscle neuromuscular junction is different from the neuromuscular junction of the skeletal muscles first of all this they this junction do not form a direct contact with the muscle fibers but instead in this first form of the neuromuscular junction which is present in the unitary form of the smooth muscles the junction is known as the diffuse junction the neurotransmitter substance of the nerve fiber is basically secreted into connective tissue sheet which is present above the muscle fiber and once it is secreted these neurotransmitters they go deep inside they go deep inside and then they excite the smooth muscles so the secretion of the neurotransmitter is basically in the matrix of connective tissue which is covering the smooth muscles and from this covering or this matrix of connective tissue the smooth uh, the transmitters they go down and activate the other muscle fibers which are present in the lower down uh, uh, layers in the in the neuromuscular junctions of the smooth muscles there are no branching end feet but some varicosities skeletal muscles had proper branching end feet in which a, a fiber was coming and it was properly dividing and it was forming a branching end feet like this is something which we have already discussed but in this in the smooth muscles instead of instead of forming a proper branching end feet in which a neuron properly divides and innervates the skeletal muscle in a proper way we have some varicosities here we have some varicosities that are rounded up in shape basically seen with the help of a microscope and these varicosities they contain the neurotransmitter in case of the skeletal muscle we only had acetylcholine but in the case of smooth muscles these varicosities has vesicles which contain both acetylcholine as well as norepinephrine so the neurotransmitter is basically secreted from here because this area this area they it does not has the schwann cells the nerve fiber basically is covered with the help of schwann cell because the schwann cells allow 
the speed the rapid the rapidity or the speed of the nerve impulse or the transmission of nerve impulse so here this schwann cell is absent so the absence of schwann cell allow the secretion of the transmitter from this varicosities and this transmitter can go deep inside and it can excite the smooth muscles this is the case in the diffuse type of neuromuscular junction so here the nerve fiber comes and the nerve at the end of the fibers there are ves varicosities varicosities has vesicles vesicles contain neurotransmitter mostly two types acetylcholine and norepinephrine that is secreted in the connective tissue sheet and that that transmitter then they go down and excite the lower layer of the of the muscle fibers this is basically the the scenario in the unitary type of smooth muscles but in multi unit types of smooth muscles in which each in a muscle fiber is activated separately this this sheet of fiber connective tissue sheet this is not present rather the nerve fiber comes directly and just above the just above the fiber it forms a varicosity and from here this very from this varicosity the neurotransmitter is secreted directly into the uh, into the muscle fiber and the muscle fiber gets activated this type of neuromuscular junction is known as the contact junction so we basically have two types of neuromuscular junction it is either a diffuse type of junction or it's either a contact type of junction but both forms are very simple forms the only difference is the space between because in the in the diffuse type the the, the secretion of neurotransmitter is far far away from the muscle but in the contact type of the junction the varicosities has come very very much near and the distance is very much little so this type of innervation it leads to high speed of muscle contraction and because these type of smooth muscles are multi unit they are innervated separately and the junction has little space so they have a chance to react quickly and contact contract quickly another difference between the skeletal and smooth muscles was that there was only acetylcholine in skeletal muscle that was secreted but in neuromuscular junction of the smooth muscles both acetylcholine and neuromuscular uh, norepinephrine could be secreted and both could either activate the fibers or it could inhibit or stop the contraction of fibers so it depends it depends which type of receptors are present over here either it could be inhibitory receptors or it could be in activation receptors so depending upon the type of receptors which are present here if the activation receptor is activated then acetylcholine will act as an activation transmitter and it will activate the contraction but if inhibitory receptors are activated or the neurotransmitter that is been secreted from the nerve fiber it acts on the inhibitory receptors then it will stop the contraction of the muscle so that's all about the neuromuscular junction of the smooth muscle fibers to summarize it in the skeletal muscle there is a proper neuromuscular junction a synaptic cleft is formed due to the penetration of the nerve fibers and in the synaptic cleft the the vesicles which contain the neurotransmitter it is secreted and the skeletal muscle get excited but in the smooth muscles there is no direct contact and the neuromuscular uh, the the neurotransmitters they get secreted in matrix of connective tissue especially in the diffuse types of junction and then there is no branching end feet but varicosities instead of the branching end feet for that skeletal muscle fibers we have this varicosities and from these varicosities due to the absence of schwann cells the transmitter can get secreted it can come down and it can activates all the layers but the transmission 
or the activation will come from top to bottom and the nerve will not be penetrated penetrating deep inside as it was the case in with the t-tubule in the skeletal muscles and in the in the case of contact junctions the the distance between the muscle fiber membrane and the nerve terminal is very much little so it gets excited a bit quickly and the action of the neurotransmitter depends upon the types of receptors if the receptors are activation types the muscle will contract contract or it if it's inhibited type then the muscle will uh, the contraction will stop so acetylcholine or norepinephrine they can both act as excitation or inhibitory transmitters sometimes in single fiber one uh, neurotransmitter like acetylcholine will act as an activation transmitter and the neuro uh, the new norepinephrine will act as the inhibitory and vice versa there could be some other neurotransmitters but those neurotransmitters are not uh, they are beyond the scope of this lecture so thanks a lot for watching the lecture